the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 252, Ezekiel 29-32 Finding no joy in the evildoer's death. Although Egypt should have remembered God, who was the source of blessing, they were not humble and so were judged for their arrogance. First point, God provided various metaphors to emphasize Egypt's judgment. In Ezekiel chapters 29 to 32, God dedicated a full four chapters into explaining the judgment of Egypt using metaphors. God said that Egypt was like a great monster lying among the streams and outlined the reasons for their punishment. Egypt was so arrogant that they believed that they were the creators of the river. They believed that the abundance God gave them through the Nile was their own achievement. Thus, God declared punishment on them. God moreover claimed that Egypt was like a staff of reed. The fall of Egypt was already declared by God through the prophet Isaiah during the reign of King Hezekiah. Isaiah also said that Egypt was like a staff of reed. When Babylon had conquered of Assyria and was continuing to conquer their other surrounding countries, South Judah thought it would be best to make an alliance with Egypt. They had a false hope that Egypt would become their ally. But God told Isaiah to tell the people that Egypt was like a useful staff. Nevertheless, South Judah still did all they could to make an alliance with Egypt. However, Egypt did not help them, but instead brought upon further distress. What the people of South Judah should have done was to turn to God, who had incomparable powers to Egypt. To the people who looked to Egypt, God told them what was to happen. God explained that Egypt was to endure hardship for the next 40 years, and even when they could become restored, they would never again see their full glory. As such, God declared judgment on Egypt for their arrogance. God made Babylon take over Egypt. Babylon tried to conquer Tyre after South Judah, but they did not see good results, and so turned to Egypt. This ultimately destroyed Egypt. Second point, on the day of God's righteous judgment, Babylon's army was to strike Egypt. God told Ezekiel about the day of judgment for Egypt and the countries who made alliances with Egypt. God outlined the plagues that would appear on this day to Egypt. Ezekiel added to the countries that made alliances with them. In other words, the countries that made alliances with Egypt would all be destroyed and taken over by Babylon. God proclaimed that Babylon, which was the most brutal of them all, would strike Egypt. And on the day of God's judgment, the cities of Egypt will know that they fell in the hands of Babylon because of God's judgment. The first round of the Egyptian fall occurred in 605 BC, during the battle against Babylon when the Egyptian king died. And the second round was when Babylon attacked for the second time after striking down South Judah. God warned of his management of the world through Babylon's 70-year reign. Third point, God told Ezekiel about the arrogance of Egypt compared with Assyria. God compared Egypt's glory to Assyria's past glory to Ezekiel. Assyria was once a strong and powerful nation. Assyria's glory that God reported to pointed to the time when they had held power over Asia for 520 years. Assyria's past glory was so phenomenal that even God's cedar wood and the trees of the Garden of Eden envied them 
As such, God compared Egypt to Assyria. Assyria was once extraordinarily powerful, but their arrogance became even greater than their power. Assyria's end was a warning of Egypt's end. In other words, Egypt was headed in the way of Assyria. Fourth point, through the fall of Egypt, God once again revealed how the whole world belongs to him. God commanded Ezekiel to sing a lamenting song for the king of Egypt. The lamenting song in Ezekiel chapter 32 was God's words after a year since the fall of South Judah. Two years ago, God reported to Egypt as a great monster, and now, once again, God spoke of their destruction. The reason for Egypt's judgment was because of their arrogance. Through this, God once again declared how the whole world belongs to him. God repeatedly mentioned that through his judgment, the people will know that he is the Lord. God declared that for a long time, he looked to Egypt and hoped that they would turn to him. But now they would see God through a painful way. Egypt now faced a brutal and pitiful end. Fifth point, through the context of a kingdom of priests, God declared that he does not want the evil to perish, but wants them to turn from their ways. God now told Ezekiel of the conclusions of his judgment for each of the countries. The first was the death of Egypt. The second was the death of the Assyrian Empire. The third was the death of Elam. The fourth was the death of Meshach and Tubal. The fifth was the death of Edom and Sidon. As Tyre had not yet fallen at this point, only Sidon appears to be mentioned. The sixth was the death of the Pharaoh of Egypt. As such, God declared the fall of Ammon, Moab, Edom, Philistine, Tyre, Sidon, Egypt, and so on, and once again rebuilt how the whole world belongs to him. God who governed the whole world with justice did not distinguish or favor South Judah over others. As Levi, out of the thirteen sons of Jacob, lived to serve the other twelve tribes, South Judah was also there in order to serve their surrounding countries. But the people of South Judah were unable to fulfill their duties in the kingdom of priests and were therefore punished for it. And thus, God revealed his heart to Ezekiel regarding this matter. God declared that he did not wish to see the evil perish, but for them to turn from their evil ways and repent. In other words, he did not actually want to punish them. All in all, through the prophets, we can see just how much God wanted to save them and just how much God wanted his people to repent and turn from their evil ways. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit 
on you as you use this app.